but our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's daughter, Jing King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sao. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy twice. He plans on forcing Jing King to marry him next Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information. Two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sao's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their ultra-tight security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we've picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything out the chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves on the PlayStation 3. This is a 100% walkthrough and this is part 18 and uh, we are in the last part we started episode 4 a code alliance but uh, what we did in that part is that we tracked down the panda king and went to talk to him but now we're sort of finally starting really starting the episode and as you can see Carmelita is here uh, this is in China and I really love this episode we're going to start off with the first job which is find a job this is it General Sao's palace if we're gonna get at the Panda King's daughter we'll need an inside track on the wedding I'm ready with my costume. With some luck, he'll hire me on as the wedding coordinator. Great. If you get a chance, try to score the rest of us some jobs as well. You can't have enough operatives on the inside. No. You can't come out yet, my Blossom! But, please, my father... Alright, so find General Tsao. And you can probably hear that, I think at least, General Tsao and Jing King, which is Panda King's daughter, are talking. And it's all very, very sad that he's captured. But let's talk to General Tsao. Greetings, Honorable General Tsao. I have heard of your impending marriage and have respectfully come before you to offer my services as wedding coordinator. How insulting! I need no help. My apologies, I mean no disrespect. Given my genius, I am of course completely capable of organizing the event. However, I might be interested in employing a photographer. A day of such momentous import should be captured for future generations to marvel at. I have one of the world's best photographers on retainer. Really? Well, if he truly is world class, then he might get the honor of chronicling the event. However, I'll need to see some samples before I give him the job. Of course. I'll have him come by right away. You'd better not be wasting my time, wedding planner. I get very, very uncharitable when people waste my time. Okay, Sly. General Sal wants some samples of your work. I've placed waypoints in areas with good photographic potential. Approach the guards while in costume, and they'll probably pose for you. Good luck, pal. So Sly is going to be the wedding photographer, but first, before General Sal can hire us, he wants some samples of our work. So we're going to go to the waypoints, and we're going to take some photographs of a few guards. And hopefully the photos will look fantastic. What's the crypt password? Easy one, here you go. 
Night, 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 night. Yes, sir. My mistake. Listen up, meatheads. General Sal wants some pictures of his staff, so big smiles all around, or else. So just go up to them and take a photo. This is just like the recon missions. What a darling couple. Now this is quite strange because when you take a picture, they just suddenly vanish. I don't know why that happens, but each time you take photos of the guards in this mission, which is three times, they will all just disappear after you have taken the photo of them. So that is quite strange. I don't know why that is, but that's just how it is. But it's fine. Wait! Tell me the sunset password! As I expected. Here you go. Day, night, sun, moon. Sorry. Just being careful. All right, you stupid guards, put on some smiles and get in a nice pose. General Sal wants some happy photos. Get it? No, they don't get it. So let's take a picture of the second one's treasured memories. Indeed. And they vanish as well. So the last vape waypoint that we can take photos at is right next to the castle the castle, the palace, or whatever they, it is that they call this, at least Sao's house, kind of. So let's go down here and take a photo. Hey, what's the temple password? Here's the password, Sly. Day, sun, day, moon. Oh, didn't recognize you. Okay, you two, look happy. The general would like a nice couple shot. So we're going to take a couple of shots, but this monkey is ruining the photo, so we have to get rid of the monkey. If you want to be a little bit mean, just do this to the monkey. Kill the monkey. That is quite mean, it really is. But um, everything for the photo, you know? That's how it is to be a paparazzi. Really, Sly, that's some lovely photography. Show those shots to the general. I'm sure he'll be impressed. All right, now that we're in here, we're actually going to take some photos of General Cao as well. Just listen to everything he's saying. He's such he's he's so full of himself. Make sure you get my good side. It must be quite amusing to observe the effects of power. What I like to do here is that I just go to different places to take a few shots from different angles, just to have some fun. You don't have to take photos from different angles like I'm doing, you can just take photos from, like head on. But I just like to do this because I think it's fun. That'll do it, Sly. I talk to the general now while you've got him buttered up. Greetings, General Sal. As you have no doubt guessed, I'm the world-class photographer hoping to play a humble role in your upcoming magnificent wedding. Hmm. Let me see a sample of your work. I have a keen eye, a great sense of artistic value. I can tell at a glance if you're world class. But of course, your excellency. Ah, hmm. You have a strong sense of uh, compositional regularity and a uh, forced perspectivism. These are adequate. You may have the honor of photographing my wedding. A thousand thank yous, my lord. I'm sure it will be a wedding none of us will ever forget. And that's the job complete. Find a job. That's the first job. Now Sly is going to be the wedding photographer, so we have an insider um, on the whole Tsao um, thing. So it's time to do a new mission. And that mission is, uh, um, it says on the map that it's a Sly mission, but it's just Sly that starts the mission. It's actually 
Bentley that does most work in the mission. It's kind of like a hacking mission and to do this mission you have to buy the grapple cam from um, Thiefnet, which is uh, equipment for um, Bentley. So make sure you've bought the grapple cam before you can do this mission or else you won't be able to do it. So buy the grapple cam. So uh, the mission is located up there. So we just have to go up there and um, start off the mission and I have no idea what the mission is called but I vividly remember this mission from uh, back when I last played this game. So let's make our way up and uh, start the mission. So, let's get to pickpocketing those keys. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The keys are designed with a self-destruct feature, and the guards carrying them are in constant radio contact. I get it. If we steal a key from the first guard, he'll report it in. Then the second guard will destroy his copy before we have time to pull it. That's right. We need to steal the keys almost simultaneously. Since you're better at this than me, I should probably go first. All right, I'll take up position behind the target. Call me when you've made the pull, and I'll pounce. Affirmative. So Sly and Bentley have to steal the keys at the very same time, so let's take up position. I'm in position for the pull. The second you get your key, I'll go for this one. Roger, I'm en route for key number one. So now Bentley is going to uh, go over to this guard and steal key number one. Um, it's located right up there. Be careful and uh, not get seen by too many guards. This uh, monkey actually has something shiny in his pocket. So let's uh, steal that. I don't know why uh, monkeys are guards in China because it's very very cold here and I don't think monkeys like the cold environment but uh, hey ho uh, let's uh, steal this key now but first we're gonna get some coins I've got the first key Go for the second before the guards call in. And let's go for the second key. Excellent. The key's intact. Let's and now that we've got both keys, we're going to meet up uh, with um, Bentley. Sly and Bentley are going to meet up with the dragon statue. No, not the dragon statue, the statue of uh, General Tsao. But that kind of is a dragon, you know. Nice work. With this second key in my grapple cam, I'm all set up for the inner office. Sure you won't need my help on the inside? I'm afraid this is a problem only technology can solve. Right. Well, have fun with your, uh, technology. Don't wait up. This could go all night. Now uh, that uh, Bentley has both of the keys, he's going to um, break into this house. And basically what he's going to do in there is that he's going to hack a computer. And that's basically the whole mission. And you'll see why we're going to need the grapple cam when we get inside, because basically the grapple cam is like, it's a camera and you can shoot with it and stuff. It's quite cool actually, I really like the grapple cam.
You weren't kidding about the security in this place. Hope your grapple can can lure a guard onto that pressure plate. Otherwise, you're never getting into that upper level. So what we're going to do now is that we're first going to equip the grapple can. Equip it to R2. And uh, basically, don't throw it there. Because it's going to get destroyed. So what we're going to do with the grapple can is that we're going to lure a guard onto the pressure plate. And basically when the guard stands on the pressure plate, shit will happen basically. A door will open. So that is what we're going to do. But he's going the wrong way. Or no, he's not actually. But he kind of is. Lure him onto there. He's standing on the pressure plate now. So we can exit the grapple cam and shoot him with a sleep dart. Alright, that opened the door to the upper office. Lure that top guard onto the second pressure plate and it's sure to turn off the door lasers. And now we need to lure the second guard onto the second pressure plate and that will basically get rid of all of the security, the lasers and stuff like that. So let's do this. Lure him over here. It's quite funny this whole distract thing. And here's the pressure plate. Oh, lure him into... He's on his way right now. And uh, now he's standing on the pressure plate. Exit the grapple cam and shoot him with a sleep dart. Excellent. The way's all clear. Good thing you've got that afterburner. With nothing to climb on or to jump off of, it'll be your only means to the computer in the upper office. All right, now that uh, both of the pressure plates have guards on them, we can make our way to the computer, which is located um, on the second floor right here. And because we got that afterburner on our wheelchair, we can uh, easily get up to the second floor. Like so. And let's just... Let's just get some coins while we're at it. The vases look too tempting to just walk past them and not destroy them. So why not destroy them and get a couple of coins while we're at it? Alright, so there's the computer. Let's hack it. Don't be scared, little computer. This won't hurt a bit. A wedding data must be All right, we're now hacking. When was the last time we hacked? We have hacked in this game, at least. I know that. At least I think so. I can't really remember the last time we hacked. Oh, I remember now. It was that um, windmill uh, job. I remember that now. That wasn't too fun of a mission, really. I don't really like hacking too much. But the hacking in Sly 2 and Sly 3 is much better than what it is in Sly 4. It's awful in Sly 4, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. Um, we're soon done with the video, so uh, it's soon the end. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, hopefully you guys will come back for the next part and uh, we will check out that strange thing in the water with Murray. So come back for that and I'll see you guys in part 19. Goodbye. Aha, the database is wide open. I'm a capital G genius.